ですか、これから。For joining us in the Rockwell household. Thank you for joining us in the little Rockwell household on this wonderful Tuesday morning. We're so thankful that we are alive today. We have breath in our lungs. We get another day to serve Jesus. Amen. 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 Well, we've got a nice, we've got a nice short Devo for us this morning. But first, we got to do some announcements. Who loves a little announcements? And the first one is, Prayer Encounter starts today. Everyone say, Prayer Encounter. Prayer Encounter! So that starts today, Tuesday at 7 p.m. tonight in the worship center. We're going to be praying, lifting up needs of the church, interceding and believing for God. How many know that there is power in prayer? Amen. We learned that on Sunday. One, when the church prays, what happens? Miracles happen. Two, when the church prays, God does more than we ask. And three, when the church prays, the church grows. So we at Harvest have committed to being a church of prayer. Hang on with the blankie, buddy. Let's not throw it. Just sit right here next to Daddy. We are a church committed to praying. Amen. We are going to have more prayer in our lives. So join us tonight at 7 p.m. We have prayer encounter tomorrow night on Wednesday. And we have prayer encounter on Thursday at 7 p.m. Three days this week. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 7 p.m. Prayer encounter. Come tonight and help us pray. Amen. That's, that's it for now. I think we're about ready to read some of God's word and apply it to our lives this morning. Amen. Wow. Jackie's being silly. You want to bring a chair right here, Jackie? Yes. Okay, you got your own little rocking chair. We're just going to sit now and listen. Okay, I'm going to take us to James chapter 4, verses 13 through 17. This is a warning about self-confidence. So let's read. 13. Look here. Look here, you say. Today or tomorrow we are going to a certain town and we'll be there for a year. We will do business there and make a profit. How do you know what your life will be like tomorrow? Your life is like the morning fog. It's here a little while and then it's gone. What we ought to say is if the Lord wants us, we will live and do this or that. Otherwise, you are boasting about your own pretentious plans and all such boasting is evil. Hey, Jackie, no thank you. They're, they're watching Daddy. Sit. That's good listening. Where otherwise, you are boasting about your own pretentious plans and all boasting is evil. Remember, it is a sin to know what you ought to do and then not do it. So I believe there's two points that we can really highlight in this passage of Scripture in James 4, 13 through 17. No, oh, thank you. Remember, we're leaving right here. And the first one is... Let me have the thing. Thank you. Thanks, bud. Mommy's phone case. All right. The first one is the uncertainty of this life. This passage reminds us that there is uncertainty in our life. We often make plans with a false sense of control, assuming that tomorrow is guaranteed. James urges us to acknowledge the fragility of our existence. And by recognizing this fragility and under uncertainty, we are reminded to live with humility, prioritizing what truly matters. And what truly matters, guys, is a relationship with Jesus, a heart sold out to serving God every single day. That's what matters. In this uncertainty of life, we can put our hope that we are living each day for Jesus, amen? And the second one is submitting to God's will. This passage, hang on, bud. Hang on, hang on. This part emphasizes the importance of aligning our plans with God's will. Thank you. Please sit. Remember we said we're going to sit? 
Thank you. We're going to align our plans with God's will. Instead of being self-reliant, we are encouraged to consult God in all of our decisions. Prayer. Prayer encounter. That's why we communicate with God. Sometimes we know what the right action is and yet fail to do it. This, pal this passage challenges us to act on what we know about God's instructions. So we should ask ourselves, are there areas in our life that we know we shouldn't be doing things, and yet we keep doing them? Amen. Are there areas in our life that we know we shouldn't be doing things, and yet we still do them? We should be careful with this and try to put off anything in our life that would hinder us from running this race for Jesus. Hey, Jackie, please come sit. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Working to listen. Thank you. So those two points in James 4, I think we can help apply to our lives and really help us grow closer to Jesus in our walk. We know that this life and tomorrow is uncertain. We don't know if tomorrow is guaranteed, so we're going to live each day as if this is our last day on earth, living for Jesus, giving our all. And two, we submit to God's will. Hey, can you move, Henry? It's his turn to sit right here. Thanks, bud. Right here. Awesome. We're going to submit to God's will. How many say, I'm going to submit to God's will today, no matter what happens. Even if it is a storm that is brought my way, I will lean into God's will and plan. As soon as I'm done praying, I'll open this. Sit down. That's all we have for today, church family. Thank you so much for listening. We appreciate you. We got boys running around. It's a little chaotic over here, and that's okay. <laughs> this life is uncertain. We don't know what these boys are going to do, but we still trust in Jesus. Okay, all right, let's close in prayer. Let's sit right here. Let's close in prayer. Sit right on Daddy's lap. Yes. Awesome. All right, let's close our eyes and pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this day. This is the day that you have made, so let us rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, help us to remember that this life is short and that we should live every moment of every day for you. All of our thoughts, actions, emotions point to Jesus. Lord, let us submit to your plan, God. No matter the plan that is placed in front of us, let us walk confidently and put our trust in you, Jesus. We love you. We give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Come here. Come here. Let's say, bye, church family. Bye, church family.